When someone says the term cinematic or cinematic footage, what are the characteristics that come in mind for you? For me, some of my favorite shots in cinema are those great wide shots. There's nothing I love more than a nice wide shot when you're able to collaborate with everyone in your team, everyone around the director, production designers to create and choreograph a great wide shot. And to me, something cinematic is all the other characteristics that add to be able to entice or enhance the story in this particular scene. Having things in the foreground or the background help bring focus to the main character, but also add this characteristic of humanity to him, to be able to see that, like, what are the stuff around him that make this a real person? Either it's them in like an office, them working, or them in their home. What are the stuff around them that makes them be able to be more human and be able to relate to them? As well as cinematic footage, it can just be spectacular. It can just be a great location, like in a beach or woods or somewhere where it's grand and majestic and you want to, you know, showcase that. And sometimes that's what I love about certain movies is just where they're shooting it, you know, the spectacularness of it. Like Lord of the Rings is an amazing movie and they shot in amazing locations. And obviously some places is in the studio, but when they're actually shooting on location, you can tell and it's beautiful, these great huge shots. And that's something I wanna emulate in my work and the stuff I shoot. And the piece of gear that I'm using to hopefully get more shots like that is the Sony 20 millimeter G lens. And for me, I got this lens initially because I wanted a small compact lens to just take anywhere for spontaneous moments, either as in like just shooting um, stills or shooting video like vlog formats. It wasn't until a couple months that I've had this lens that I started thinking about getting those grand shots like that. Once my mindset kind of changed a little bit of how I shoot my stuff, I realized like, wait, I can use this lens for actual shots, like not just vlog style stuff or just for fun, like I can actually use it for projects to be able to emulate the style that I want to achieve. Terrence Malick is another great director that comes to mind when I think about grand shots. Like, not only does he use necessarily just wide lenses for everything, but when it comes to his close-ups, like he uses this wide lens. And it's kind of eerie to think about using a really wide lens to get really close on a character because you get that distortion factor of it. But I mean, it works for him. And it's just to think about that sometimes um, gear that is not necessarily used a certain way can be used for, for your personal style to whatever it is you want to do. And that's something I kind of learned from having this lens is that, you know, if it works for you, then it works for you. Like if, if this is what you want to convey, story factor, go ahead and do it. The Sony 20 millimeter G lens, um, there's so many videos about it, so I don't wanna go into the specs about it, but I just wanna talk about the few aspects that I love about this lens. I really wish more lenses were kinda like this, where the aperture, you can either have it click or have it smooth, which it means that Photographers and videographers and cinematographers can use it alike because you can have that click aperture Which if you are a photographer if you want to change the aperture real quick Like you can do it and if you don't want it to really move on you you can have it where it's click So you know that you're not like really bump into it by accident or have your hand accidentally switch the aperture But when it comes to videographers sometimes you want that smooth Transition because if you're doing a tracking shot where you're moving from the inside to outside and the light changes like one or two stops or even more than three stops, you're gonna wanna change that aperture because if it changes more than three stops, then you know, you're gonna blow out your highlights or, or your crush your shadows, which you don't wanna do. So you can easily just twist your aperture just like you would change a variable ND, you could do that with the aperture, which if you work with uh, cinema lenses, that's how you usually would adjust that, you pull stops. But I think it's enough me talking about why I like the lens or why I wanna start using it in this way or why I like wide shots and just show you some of the shots you can get with this lens and kind of the mood it conveys with having these nice grand shots. So, here you go. I often write down my thoughts so I can find peace. What I truly want is to sit by the ocean because it's a place where beauty and chaos meet. The stillness followed by the raging sea is a mixture of everything I want. The peace in the chaos is what I hope to find.